Hey fine fam, welcome back to our channel. My name is Nerida Miller. And this is the one and only Shaheen Miller. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're new to our channel, welcome. And today's video is our Q&A. So this week on Instagram, we went to our story and we asked our friends on Instagram to ask away, to ask us any question. And we got a few responses. So thank you to those who who responded to our Instagram story. And we're gonna get straight to it, okay? So the first question is from, so we wanna give the first shout out to Isaiah, which on Instagram, he is the young servant. So shout out to the young servant. Thank you for being a real one and responding to our story and participating. And Isaiah's question was this, and I think, um, Yamo, this is more for you, okay? So Isaiah's question was, what are some good tips for a young man waiting for his future spouse? Shaheen. Oh, God. What would you tell Isaiah? Mr. Isaiah. What's his uh, Instagram name? The Young Servant. The Young Servant. Okay, so advice for a young man waiting for his wife. Um, waiting is good. Patience will eventually pay off, but don't wait too long. Uh, sometimes we get so caught up with waiting and we expect uh, Mrs. Perfect to just fall into our lap. Um, I mean, yeah, it could happen. And I believe that in due time, uh, you will find Mrs. Right, but you also have to not be afraid to make the correct steps and the actions to take you there. Um, sometimes God will bring you a um, person that's for you and it'll be right, in, she'll be right in front of your face. But if you don't make the step to ask her on a date or, you know, tell her that you like her in your own way, you know, then it's always gonna just be right there sitting in front of you. It's like the carrot on the stick. Mm -hmm. Like, unless you decide to take the carrot off the stick, it's always gonna be teasing you right in front of your face. Um, some other advice that I could say about um, a young man waiting to find his wife or for his wife. Uh, it's time to work on you. Mm -hmm. um, while you're single, it's the best time to try and figure out who you are and what you really want um, in a relationship so that when you're actually in a relationship, I mean, it's, you're not gonna come into a relationship knowing exactly what you want and need. It's a learning process, of course, but you should use this time of singleness to know, you know all right, this is the qualities that I want in a, a future, you know, potential wife. And I want her to be like this, you know, and yeah, that's what I would and say. And then to that, I would add to submit all that into prayer. What you want in a future spouse, what are your values, what are your goals, you know, and just pray for her. A, a goal I would give you, um, the to the young servant Isaiah in this time of waiting um, that you are you know continuing to find yourself and work on yourself but you know what she's out there somewhere so you can just like pray for her during this time because you don't know where she is or where she's going through so just pray for her during this time and just believe God that he's gonna bring you to your you know future girlfriend future wife um in its due time and don't stress it don't rush it but then with that i do agree with shaheen where he says don't just then linger too much on the waiting that you miss the opportunity to actually meet her because you're waiting for this big thing to happen where she just falls in place but she's probably been around you the whole time so that's the advice that we can give you the young servant and we wish many blessings on you and we bless your life and we wish you the best look i believe that you're gonna meet your future wife okay so stay positive and go ahead take those action steps because you know that faith without actions is dead okay so god bless you now to our next Fine Life Fam that responded is, I'm here scrolling through all the messages, is Brother Johnson. Brother Johnson? Brother Johnson, okay. okay. So on Instagram, Johnson is Jan Zion, J-A-H-N-Z-I-O-N, Jan Zion. And his question was, drum roll please. 
Um, what is a great, affordable, and thoughtful gift for a friend that's a girl? Word. Okay, so don't go the cheesy route. Like, you're not gonna, I mean, back in elementary, mm -hmm. oh, sorry, uh, back mm -hmm. in elementary school or, you know, your first thought was like, oh, if I like a girl, I have to get her jewelry, you know, I have to get her a chain, a necklace, a ring, you know, yeah. to show that, oh, like, I'm fancy, you know, or I like, I really like you. Don't go that route. I mean, today's girls, you know, on a DL, they like to eat, man. <laughs> just, just get her some food, like for yeah. all, the yeah. perfect gift that you could get. I would say that's like very thoughtful and touching and make them feel special. You know, get them edible arrangements, you know, I should get sponsored okay. for that. Um, for but um, edible arrangements, you know, Girls, they're gonna go crazy over, you know, chocolate covered strawberries, you know, with the designs and like the pineapples and stuff, all in a flower design. Mm -hmm. You know, if you get something, you don't even have to buy like the most expensive one. You can get like a a little bouquet for what, 10, 15, $20. And you know, it will they're look- They're like 25. 25, yeah. you know, and it will be a nice touch, you know, that will say like, oh, like this is really special mm -hmm. and it's not too over the top that she's like, oh, you know, like, I can't uh, accept this gift type of thing, you know? Yeah. It's food, they're gonna accept it, so. It's, and, and it's a little more smooth. It's a smooth way, it's gonna get the point, you know, it's gonna be like, you're gonna feel, fill my tummy and my heart at the same time. And with that, I'm gonna add, or bringing her lunch one day, giving her lunch, that's like food too. Now, coming from a girl's perspective, right? From a girl's perspective is pay attention whichever girl it is that you're trying to give a special gift to something that's thoughtful since that was part of your question too a suggestion i have is to pay attention to her likes things that she's into her types of aspirations you know get to know her a little bit more and listen if you're focused on what she's saying that those could be hints for what you can put together for her on what you can get for her and that's going to be a thoughtful gift you see so um i agree with Shane. it doesn't have to be something always jewelry or over the top because you're just starting you're trying to show you know that you know you like her or just be nice do a gesture but listen to what she says and the th things that you know that she likes and she's into and then that can lead you into a gift for for her you see so for example if it's a girl that she likes to write a journal you know an inspirational journal you know with like fancy pens because some girls that like to journal like to have a lot of journals and like fancy pens or something you know or someone who likes to paint you know maybe make it personal make it personal yeah that's what i'm saying so it's it's very nice um that you just pay attention that's always key um and not just focus on something that you would like but what she would like um and yeah doesn't remember it doesn't have to be over the top at first but brother johnson we wish you the best okay word, word. Yeah. and let us know fill us in with what you got her so fellas you know if you're trying to you know if you're trying to get a girl you know that you're um that you like or that you just want to show a gesture to or that you're talking to it's listening and being intentional with your gifts okay um and that's coming from a woman's perspective so our third question is from all right guys so our third question is from Kristen. oh my gosh girl thank you so much for dropping a question her instagram name is legendary christy underscore <laughs> i love it Leg and legendary christy underscore said drum roll please <laughs> best couple advice you ever received i have something to say about this Okay. And you could brainstorm and you're going to give your best couple advice, okay? Mm -hmm. But the best couple advice we ever received that I could remember, but something that like we've received a lot of great couple advice, but something that sticks out or up till this day was um, I remember and God bless this woman, um, woman of God that told us this, we were preparing for our wedding um and we were in this time that we were trying to get everything together for our wedding right and she sits down with us we're waiting for someone and this woman sits down with us and the advice that she told us was never say the d word 
May the D word never come out your mouth. Donut? Donut? Um, what else? What D word? D word. Hmm, what is it? It may not be what you're thinking, but right here, I'm going to put what we mean by the D word. <laughs> because it's not donuts. It's not nothing else with the D, but this right here. So this word cannot come out your mouth. And the reason why, when it comes to you and your partner, the reason why is because once you say it, you're allowing that thought to linger in your mind. And that tends to be behind your mind. Um, it's then you give kind of some fruit to or some root to it. Um, once that word is, is spoken out, you see our words are very po um, powerful. So you have to be careful what you're speaking over um, the thought of your marriage or what you're speaking over your marriage or your spouse in general. So whatever you ever go through, because we know that marriage is not easy. Um, relationships are not easy it's all a learning process all a learning process for life you know you're learning how to live and and be in a relationship with someone else that could be totally different from you and even if they're similar to you it's there's still many challenges you face but the key is to not give up you see not give up and we believe you keep um christ in the center of your marriage and of your relationship you know what so let's, it's gonna it's gonna be much better. So now I'm gonna leave it to Shaheen. So let's discuss a little bit about that, where that comes from. I mean, in today's society, um, if if it's not perfect, uh, it's disposable. You know, they have this mentality that if it's if it's good, it's disposable. If it's not perfect, you know, it can be thrown away and get something else. You know, and it's just that mindset. We gotta break that because it's things that are worked on that lasts you know you gotta have the perception that it's you're gonna have rough patches you know and mm -hmm. the grass is not greener on the other side the grass is greener where you water it so yes. you have to really work quote cred to our pastors <laughs> you gotta work uh for your marriage your relationship to mm -hmm. be where you want to be and it's gonna take some tears it's gonna take you know a lot of period of growth and you know planting but eventually you will see the result. A lot of people opt for jumping the ship because they're looking at what they have and they're comparing it with what others have. But you don't mm -hmm. know what others went through to get to that point. Exactly. And so you yeah. got to really put in the work for yourself, you know, and and see the fruits of your labor. You know, and it comes from, you know, making the decision to work. You know, a lot mm -hmm. of people have this fantasy that Oh, I'm going to have this in love phenomenon. I'm going to feel in love, you know, have butterflies in my stomach, you know, my entire marriage. But that's not true. The in love phase, it fades. And what you really got to do is work on keeping the fire burning. It's something yes. you really got to pour into. You got to really, you know, you got to shovel coal. You got to put gas in your in your car. You know, you got to, you know, you, got, you have to make a deposit. You know, it's not something... I mean, yes, it's possible that, you know, you can have these feelings, you know, over a long period of time, but eventually you're going to come to a point where you realize that you really got to make the effort. You got to make the effort to keep the sparks. You got to make the effort, you know, to make it feel, you know, that it's not getting boring or monotonous. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to make, you have to take actions uh, to make that happen. So that's just my little piece on that. So exactly. I hope that our answers so your questions helped? I didn't finish. Oh, you weren't done? That was just your little bit. So what? I have to give my, my part, like the best I advice. Thought, I thought all that was that, your that best was, advice. That was just adding on to what you said. Oh, so, okay. Go for right. it. The best advice that I received um, was this. Mm. It's was this. Mm. It's it's the saying it goes like this i'm gonna have to look straight into the camera when i say this don't focus on the future and miss the events that are right in front of you yeah let me say this again a different way don't focus on your future so much that you miss the journey that you're currently on and a quote came from Yours truly, my wife. Yeah. So that was me. <laughs> that actually really marked me because I'm the type of person that I'm always focused 
on the future. We got to pay the bills. We got to do this. I got to make sure they're not the house provider. We got to make sure there's food in the house. Got to make sure this, that, you know, there's always a goal, a goal, a goal, a goal. Mm -hmm. And that becomes the, the perspective. I'm so like hyper focused on getting to the goal that I miss out on the journey to that goal, which mm -hmm. is just as important. You know, I'm always mm -hmm. the type of person that, you know, I feel like, oh, I can't stop and smell the roses or I can't sip and enjoy this cup of coffee because I got to get to where I want to be all the way over here, you know, but then the journey to get there, if I look back, what am I going to remember? I'm going to see, you know, oh, it's just me. Your rush. Rushing to get to the future, you know, and then I've missed out on all these years of time that I could have really been pouring into and enjoying uh, these experiences, you know, I, and, you know, just making each moment really special and you know it's really it, it really hit me to the core because it was like it's like dang you know like the journey to where i want to be is just as important as the destination at the end of the day that's right and so that's that's my marriage advice to you or relationship advice uh, wow babe you're so. listen you listened i almost forgot i said that <laughs> but guys and and kristen and everyone who is listening to this video uh by the way thanks for watching again but look for everyone who's listening to this video um it's not that i don't think you should focus on your future yes i believe that you should have aspiration and goals for your future and as a couple as a marriage what are your goals where do you what are you working towards you see other than growing together what are you working for but we can't miss the point of also embracing your current present we as a society tend to be on the go on the go on the go and everything is planned for later planned for the just in case that we miss the right now you see if we didn't take a minute today to just pause and look at ourselves and say how are you how are you doing today but hey um babe, we got to do this and we got to go right now we got to leave in like 10 minutes because we have to do this oh yeah and then we're in the car and we're on our phone or or the gps or we're running and then it was like oh now it's 11 o'clock at night hey hey how are you and it's like you know that so that's something that we need to think about is also being present you know i spoke to you in the morning i spoke to you after work and at night i'm talking to you again because i'm learning how or we can learn how to just pause pausing is a good thing in life pausing does not mean that you stopped pausing does not mean that you're stagnant pausing does not mean that it's ended that it's over but pausing allows you to embrace the moment and come into a good reality check with what's truly going on around you and be more centered be more balanced that's what i mean so that is what it is about not just focusing on the future because like she said you don't want to look back and be like, I missed the roses and I missed a cup of coffee. You see that the roses, we could, were able to just like embrace that moment and smell them. And the cup of coffee, I could have had a great conversation with my friend, with my husband, with my coworker, with my wife. You see, so that is it. I hope this helped you. Um, Take a moment, look at each other, smell the roses and drink the coffee. Where's the coffee at? <laughs> Right here. Ooh, okay <laughs> guys we hope that this was a blessing to you thank you so much for watching stay tuned for more and like we always say be well drink milk stay blessed and continue to live the fine life bye <laughs>